How's it going y'all? My name is Tim. I'm back with another shave and chat for you today. Um, so this morning I'm going to be sharing my shave with you. So let's start with the hardware, uh, just like last time. I will be shaving with a straight razor again, but this time I'll be using my Boker Carbon Elite uh, razor here. I definitely love this razor and I put a new edge on it just recently. Uh, I'll be using my Alexander Simpson T2 Synthetic Shave Brush. And I'll be using the same uh, travel lather bowl that I use in every video. Um, I can't sing the praises of this bowl enough. You can see how easily it folds up and you can store it in your shave cabinet or even in your suitcase, uh, your, your uh, shave kit if you're traveling and it just takes up no room. It's a, it's a thing of beauty. It pops right out and it's super durable too. As much as I've used this, I expected at this point uh, for like a hole or some kind of tear to come and so far it's held up just fine so good as new really <clears throat> okay so that covers the razor that covers the brush that covers the lather bowl so that's the hardware uh, for software we're going to be shaving with noble otters uh, logbook soap here this is a more recent creation from cody um, at noble otter and uh, it's a super good scent, y'all. I, I can't, I'm really not lying to you when I say that this soap is amazing. Um, the scents are uh, bergamot, orange, pepper, nutmeg, cedarwood, patchouli, leather, amber, moss, and LMI. And uh, it just has a great scent. Super relaxing, too, just the smell of it. Ugh, it just smells great. Um, so <clears throat> that's what we're going to be using uh, for the uh, soap and of course we'll follow it up with the matching splash and then after that we're going to follow it up with the matching EVP so um, let's get started here <clears throat> gotta have your coffee always <clears throat> okay so as always um, I'm going to get my face wet no, I'm still contending with my beard I've really been contemplating shaving it off because it's just so hard to deal with um, when it comes to making these videos. And it makes the shave really sloppy sometimes because you get it all sudsy and wet in the beard. And anyway, appreciate y'all bearing with me through all of my videos where I've had to deal with my beard. And I know it slows up the process a little bit, but um, again, I appreciate it. So. Um, <clears throat> one thing I did leave out is I will be using Phoenix Artisan's um, pre-shave cube again. Uh, same as last time. Uh, so let's get that going. Just my hot water here. Got some Frank Sinatra playing in the background here. I hope that I hope that that makes the uh, the video a little more enjoyable. Got to love Frank Sinatra. I mean, just a legend. My previous shave and chat videos, I have not played any music. Um, I generally play music every time I shave, and it's Frank Sinatra or uh, you know some classics. Um, and I didn't want to really have it in the videos before, um, but you know what, it adds a nice uh, ambiance to the, to the video and so makes the shave more enjoyable and takes you back to a time when straight razors were pretty much all that was used as a gold standard in shaving, which in a way it still kind of is for those of us that are in the, still involved with it anyway. Okay. 
So I was recently in New York um, <clears throat> with my father, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, and we flew into JFK and um, they have this hotel. See, I've never been to New York before, it was my first time. And they have this hotel that's um, attached to the um, attached to the airport. And it's this hotel that's, I can't even remember what the name of it was, uh, even though I've just been there about a month ago. Um, and it's this hotel that they preserved back in the, the 60s, 70s, 80s era. And um, they have one of the old airplanes, old passenger airplanes, uh, sitting out front. Of course, it's decommissioned, but um, it was such a cool experience. And all they play is like Frank Sinatra and all those older, uh, you know, all those old, uh, oldies uh, inside the hotel. And when you step in there, it's like a blast from the past. I mean, you're literally like a time machine. Uh, you're stepping back and everything in the hotel is, is themed um, in, in a good way, right? It's not like tacky, but uh, it's an experience. And I wish I could remember the name of it, but um, a quick Google search would show you if you're interested. And I just thought of that randomly as I'm sitting here listening to Frank and uh, bringing back good memories of that uh, trip with my dad. We had flown over to New York to pick up a, uh, a Saab, actually. My dad and I are um, Saab nerds. Uh, Saab is a car manufacturer, at least they were. They started out ma manufacturing uh, fighter jets, actually. Um, and then they moved into vehicles, but uh, we definitely love a Saab. And so we, drove, we flew all the way there to get one and drive it all the way back to Idaho. So that's quite the drive and uh, it was a good time. Okay, so uh, that is the pre-shave. I really wanted to let it set a little bit longer so that the benefits of the pre-shave could really soak in and kind of um, adhere to my face so that when I introduce the shave soap, I don't um, kind of like smear it off, you know? Um, so let me uh, get the, now, like I said before, put some water in the top of your soap, swish it around, draw up the fragrance oil, get the soap nice and soft on the surface, ready for lathering. Uh, for those of you who might be new, now I want to share, if I, if I can, how quickly um, it lathers. I mean, just immediately, immediately there's a lather. And that's noble lather for you. The, the base that Cody made is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, noble lather was actually the very first shave soap I ever purchased. Um, very first artisan shave soap anyway. Um, I actually started with the uh, Vanderhagen shave soaps, uh, glycerin uh, pucks, uh, where you can get like three for 10 bucks. And those had a great smell. I mean, to this day, I still am obsessed with the, the smell of the shave soap that Vanderhagen makes. I wish somebody would uh, dupe it. Uh, but um, but then I found out about artisan soaps and, and no, Noble Otter was the first one. Um, and it's had a special place in my heart ever since. I mean, just look at this, you know? I mean, it's obviously, um, in the fibers of the brush. It's not like this huge because I haven't lathered it in the bowl yet, but this brush is full uh, lather, ready to hit the uh, lather bowl and and create a uh, very creamy lather. So, all right, we get a little water in the bottom of my lather bowl here. And... There you go. Introduce just a little bit more water in there. Um, Noble Otter soaps are really thirsty soaps. They need a fair amount of water to build up a really, really good lather. So don't do too much. You don't want to end up with just a foamy mess. But uh, just little, little dribbles of water until you get a really, really thick lather. Okay, so get going here. It just smells great. And the smell, for whatever reason it does, it takes me back to an airport. I just don't, I can't explain it. I don't know how Cody did it, but he did it. If you have not tried this soap yet, please, I'm telling you, try it. 
Uh, and if you've ever been to an airport, an airport just has this smell. And that's like all the businessmen that are traveling with their, their cologne on and, you know, their aftershaves having to be freshly shaven because they're flying for business. And there's just this scent. And, and Cody nailed it with this. Uh, so I uh, can't sing its praises enough. It's a true classic, this soap is. It will, I hope that Cody keeps it in the line um, because it's, it's one that I will always use. And it's just so relaxing. And the smell just, oh man. Once you smell it, you'll see you. You'll want to pick up the matching EVP too because it's a scent you're going to want to have on you all day long. Okay. Now we'll be doing a two pass shave again. Um, uh, you know, going um, with the grain and across the grain. Uh, and I do somewhat already go across the grain on the first pass just because of my beard. It makes it really hard for me to be able to go with the grain. Um, but I still do two passes anyway. I like to make my morning shaves last as long as possible. Um, and uh, again, I'm using this shave towel just like last time, Razor Company shave towel. Uh, you can just see how big this thing is. Starts here, all the way up. Nice towel. Um, I will sing its praises in every single video. I'm really looking forward to getting the um, microfiber one. He's got this really, really cushy microfiber one that comes with um, one of these hanging on the end of it. So it's always out of stock though. I'm just like waiting for my time to be able to score one. Alright, so here we go. Like I said, I, I shave across the, the grain um, pretty much on my first pass, but um, not fully. So, um, and for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, my mirror is here, camera's here, so I try my best to engage in both, but I've gotta be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so, thank you for bearing with me. I like to rinse my straight razor in between passes. A lot of people say not to, that you should um, wipe it on like a towel. No, not me. I like to have the blade fresh. I don't like to have all that buildup of gunk, which is what wiping does. I've tried it before and it just wasn't for me. Okay, so I've cut that nice, you know, um, symmetrical, half circle uh, there on my beard so that uh, it doesn't come out looking sloppy at the end. I told you that was one of my biggest challenges when I decided to grow a beard um, is figuring out how to get around it with the straight razor. And it took a while, some trial and error where I was cutting out chunks of my beard um, and just having to shave the whole beard off and start again because I wasn't gonna be walking around with half of a beard, you know? <laughs> 
Oh, it was frustrating. Some more moisture. In some spots here. Problem with um, shave soaps uh, instead of shave creams is that they dry up a lot quicker. Um, shave creams tend to hold moisture a little bit longer. that done now let's get some more moisture going here moisture 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 yellow cannot say it enough keep yourself moisturized keep your soap wet the minute you start feeling it tightening up on your face you know it's drying do not try to shave it um, get some more uh, water on your brush and uh, oh man the lather I mean just look at these layers layers of lather <laughs> Oh man, it's just an experience, I tell you. And this is like this with all noble water soaps. Okay. So, now I'm gonna switch to my left hand, which I can only do for a small portion of my left side because I'm not left-handed. And so this is a challenge for me. Most of that done with my left hand, I'm getting a little better. Um, but I want to be able to see my sideburns here. So, So, I'm going to try my best here to just the most awkward thing, I tell you. Trying to, uh, saying it's awkward to get uh, around my beard um, so it's such a challenge as much as I've gotten good at it now um, there's just days I wish I just could just not have it anymore um, but I have a baby face and that's another thing for me is if I shave off my beard I look like I'm 12 years old um, and I'm actually about to turn 35 so um, and my wife loves it as well of course so that's another 
thing about it, which makes me feel guilty of trying to get rid of it. So, anyway. so hot. Our hot water heater just puts out an impressive amount of hot water and it, it just burns. <laughs> you could just turn it on and you put on some cold water with it, but it'll still just be scorching hot. So it takes a second to adjust that. I don't even mention that because as I just turn on the water, it burned my hand pretty good and I think I winced a little bit. Uh, and that would be why. But before we do, get some more coffee. Okay. And I've still just got so much lather in this bowl. I mean, it just... I know I keep talking about it, but I just can't say enough good things. Cody is a wizard. Just on my cheeks and a little below my jawline because I'm not doing my neck again. As I stated last time, I don't do a second pass on my neck. I get, now I'll get uh, razor bumps and I'm not about to deal with that pain or how to um, refrain from shaving for a whole week while it heals. Even with the alum block, um, just for whatever reason, like my neck will still get razor bumps. I mean, wound blocks help considerably, which I will be using today uh, at the end of my shave, as I always do, but, you know, got to do all we can to make sure um, that we're not uh, getting a nick, and I definitely don't want one of those, so uh, bear with me here, y'all. Let's see. Okay, so let me uh, skip past the ads, of course, here. All right, forgive me for that uh, slight interruption. So we're going to go uh, across the green this time. Such a great song by Frank Sinatra. Uh, I'm sure you can hear it my way. Uh, just a great song. Super inspiring, you know. Just love it.
Let's go this way. Hotel here and pat dry myself off. Now, the next shaving chop that I do, I'm going to be using my uh, the dual edge uh, safety razor. I've gotten much better with them, and so uh, and those are the only razors that I will go against the grain with. And so um, it's coming time to do that, that shave. Uh, I usually do. Um, <laughs> one against the grain per week uh, you, know, you know depending on your skin type you may not want to do more than once per week um, with uh, going against the grain it can severely irritate your skin but just doing one you know once a week it, it's really good it helps to keep the growth under control um, even though I shave every single morning um, the less hair I have to contend with the easier the shave goes so All right. Like I said, my last video, I have a beard care routine that I do when I get done shaving, but these are shaving chats, so I will not be um, showing that routine. So forgive my messy beard for the few moments that you have to bear it. Um, so now I pat dried off. Now I do need to use the aluminum block still, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Generally, I leave my face wet, um, but for the purposes of this video, I just don't want to have a wet, sloppy beard, you know. Um, so I'm gonna try to do this and. Uh, more conservative way. And the shave was just amazing, y'all. I mean, the cushion that um, that Noble Otter soaps provide is, I mean, next to Barster, man, um, pretty pretty unmatched. Uh, it just, I feel like my blade never touched my skin. That's how I feel right now. I don't have that, like, feeling of irritation. Of course, my freshly honed razor was also you know, part of why this is the, you know, the feeling that I have right now, but, um, but the soap is a huge player in that, as y'all well know, and it just feels like I never shaved. I mean, my face just feels spectacular right now, almost as if I don't even need to use aftershave at all today. Um, I always use aftershave though, but there are days where I'm just like, man, this just feels great. Like really, I don't need to. And if it weren't for the smell that aftershave brings, like, you know, the, the scent, then I probably would bypass it on some days. 
um, but I just love the scent, so I love keeping that smell uh, right up in my right up in my grill <laughs> for as long as possible. So anyway. I usually will keep um, applying the aluminum block until the bracing subsides. So, which is right about now. All right, let me to pat dry my aluminum block here. Get that uh, ready to be put back in storage. Now, let me rinse out my brush. Today is Friday. Uh, I don't know when this video will be posted, but today is Friday for me. So um, I'm hoping that everyone has a, uh, a safe and, and great weekend. Um, you know, a, a good break from work and time to spend with your family. Um, never take that for granted. Alright, rinse out the lather bowl. It's still completely full of lather too. I mean, I could literally have probably shaved. I could have probably done 20 passes, not even joking, with, if not more, with as much lather was in there. And it just keeps lathering. If you start seeing the lather starting to go down and you know you need to uh, do another pass or you know you need more than what's in there just add a little bit of hot water and swirl it back up and boom uh, you'll have a whole mess of it again so um, dry this lather bowl off of course don't want to get it all moldy all right so now i need to rinse off the aluminum so bear with me Okay, y'all. So that covers the um, the shave, the uh, the alum, and so now uh, let's get the aftershave going. And of course, the aftershave smells just like the soap. So uh, really, um, even a little, uh, it's even a little more potent than the soap actually, which is nice because again, we want to keep that fragrance on us as long as possible. It's part of what makes wet shaving so enjoyable. Okay, y'all. Well, the only thing that's left now is to uh, follow up with the EDP. Here we go. Of course, my shirt's a little wet, but that'll dry. 
All right, that is it. It's a great shave this morning. I really enjoyed it. Um, again, I hope that y'all enjoyed the music in the background. I'm going to be hoping to continue to do this. Um, create a little more of a uh, relaxing environment. And yeah, uh, thank you for sharing your time with me. And uh, if you are interested in any of these products, uh, most of which can be found on the uh, Razor Company website, um, as can the uh, uh, Noble Otter Logbook. Um, I believe they even still have some of the EDP in stock. So uh, drop in there and uh, pick some up. Um, and I'm gonna give a big thanks to Jason and the folks at Razor Company. Uh, thank you so much for um, providing such a vast um, inventory, you know, and, and having such quick shipping as well. I know that's definitely the one thing to be noted. Um, lots of shave suppliers out there, but shipping sometimes is an atro uh, atrocious and takes quite a while. So anyway, uh, thank you for spending my morning with me. And again, I hope you have a great weekend or a great day if you're viewing this sometime next week. Take care, y'all. We'll see you next time.